As of October the 24th, 2020, St. Lucia recorded 888 confirmed and 365 suspected dengue fever cases. To date, St. Lucia has only recorded three confirmed dengue-related deaths. The age range for reported cases were from three weeks to 94 years old. The five the 14 years age group accounted for 35% of all cases, followed by the 15 to 24 years age group and the 25 to 49 years age group with 21% of cases for each groups. 215 of the confirmed dengue cases were hospitalized. All health regions continue to be affected by the occurrence of dengue. However, the highest number of cases confirmed continues to be in the northern part of the island. Castries accounted for 28% of the cases. Grosley, 19%, and Babano, 8% of cases. Viewfort accounted for 11% while Miku and Denry each accounted for 8% of cases. Between October the 11th and October the 24th, 2020, new cases were confirmed in the Miku and Viewfort district. To date, two strains of dengue viruses, dengue virus 3, and dengue virus 2 have been identified as being in circulation in St. Lucia during this outbreak. In its mild form, dengue fever may present with fever, headaches, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pains, and a red itchy rash. There are several warning signs that persons need to be aware of. These include intense and continuous abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, three or more episodes in an hour, bleeding from the gums, nose, in the urine or in vomit, or dark colored stool, restlessness, or drowsiness, enlarged liver. Persons presenting with these symptoms should visit their healthcare provider. The public is reminded that dengue fever can be controlled by reducing or eliminating the risk of mosquito bites. This can be achieved by eliminating mosquito breeding sites in and around our home by discarding all open containers with stagnant water on a regular basis. Using insect repellent, which may be applied directly to the skin, clothing, or mosquito nets. Wearing long clothing. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue to provide the public with updates on the dengue situation in St. Lucia.